Start off with a question. Does your obedience have anything to do with God's love for you? And I contend no. It says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So we didn't earn God's love. He is love. And that his desire for us is to walk as children into a place of freedom. So I was thinking about how, um, you know, in this journey that I've been on, I haven't experienced guilt, shame, self-condemnation, um, which is rooted in self, right? But over the last seven, almost seven years, I've come to this place of understanding that God loves me. He truly does and wants the best for me. So if I fall short in an area of my life, it's conviction of, I hear him saying to me, why are you settling for that? His desire for me is to walk in freedom. And if I choose to go in an area that, you know, that's going to harm me as a, as a child of God. And that's how I look at it with my own children is that my desire for them is to walk in freedom. But we have this free will to either choose to trust God or to live autonomous or apart from God in that moment. So every day we have that ability to live centered in self or centered in him and being centered in him brings your life the most joy. Somehow we think it's going to strip away our freedom. But in reality, it strips away our slavery to self-dependence so that we can become free. There's beauty in that. God is showing us how to love unconditionally. Right? Everything about his life was about unconditional love. So here we tell someone we love them. But at the root of that, there's a self-centered, self-seeking component of saying, I need to hear you say, I love me back. But what if you could lay down your self-life and you get to this place of, of freedom, of being able to truly love people unconditionally? That, that's the key, and that's the way that he lived his life. We're supposed to follow that as an example. You know, and that's where we truly experience the fruit of the Spirit. We experience peace and joy. We experience contentment for the first time. And we're able to love. We, we are being transformed into the image of God, right? It's not a compartmentalized Christianity that we can go on Sunday and hear a message and feel better about ourselves. Because that's still rooted in self. But when we're able to lay down that self-life and experiencing life as He intended it to be about it not being all about you, now all of a sudden, as Todd White says, you're able to cancel your subscription to issues, your lifetime subscription to issues, because it's not about you anymore. Then you're able to be the fragrance of God's love wherever you go. You're able to love people unconditionally. He changes our heart to be in this place of you're always aware of other people's problems instead of walking into a room being self-focused. It's a beautiful place to be. It is, it is his way. So it's about us laying down of our self-life and experiencing something so much better. So now no more fear, no more anxiety, no more bitterness, no more anger. That's what he's leading us into. He's leading us into the free life, the life that's not centered around self. So repentance is not just turning away from a bad behavior in your life. It's going from a life centered in self to a life centered in him. And the fruit of that is freedom. The fruit of that is love. The fruit of that is compassion. The fruit of that is peace. The fruit of that is joy. So live by the fruit of the spirit in a submitted life. God bless y'all.